If you want to laugh, it's better you laugh to the radio. Waiting to ask is just going after my passion. When I work, it's, I enjoy my work. It's almost a working to do me. But it is not more prestigious to be a doctor than to be an artist. You should do your research on it. I did photography. I talk photography. I do photography. Everything about me is photography. Visual impressions. Uploading creativity in the arts. The all-female art exhibition is in its fifth edition. It is aimed at celebrating the contributions of female artists to the society. Fifteen of them from Nigeria and Ghana participated. They submitted works and a jury decided it wants to be showcased. This exhibition was titled Colors and Creativity. We want them to actually express themselves with their, with their colors. So we titled it Colors and Creativity. You know, so let us see the, that connection, the synergy with their colors and their creativity. So that's the thing we're working around. Each painting and sculpture convey deep messages. This is titled Wired Mind. It talks about people who feel only on what they hear, what people tell them, and what to believe. And, you know, this set of people, they do not have the ability to process thoughts and ideas on their own. Um, they breed a generation of lazy minds. And I believe that um, the, the capacity of the human mind, if properly um, used, it, it has one room for innovation, invention, and creativity. The actual message behind this work is to challenge people to think out of the box and not dwell within the box so that there will be a better society for us. The title of this work is My Many Stages. What happened when I was doing the work was that I was trying to represent different stage of uh, growth in Africa. What, what we used to differentiate different stage in terms of body marks and in, with that I really worked on the texture to explain the, the stages of body marks in Africa or in Nigeria specifically. The title of this work is uh, Food for Thoughts. I was inspired by what happened during the Nigerian protests that happened recently and um, uh, you know, during the protests a lot of people a lot of uh, it was a massive crowd. So I was there on the uh, second day, day two of the Nigerian protest. So I saw this guy holding a black hat. And that black hat, there is this inspiration on it, the road saying, one day and all we have nothing left to eat but the rich. The girl the not blind. She's looking into that world and seeing, oh God. What will tomorrow bring? As in, how will the official look like? This is called Malaika. Um, I tried to do Malaika because of her cow tenants. We look at her, she looks cow and very, very beautiful. So, because of that appearance, I tried to do Malaika. It took me three months to get this done. I'm in love with it. So, when I do this, I take my time to bring out the best in it. So, that's why I. This piece, as well as the other one, I titled them Gods of Honor. And they are here to guard the ten virgins. Remember the ten virgins from the biblical story, waiting for the bridegroom? As you can see in the work, they are holding their lamps. Some are holding extra oil, otherwise known as kerosene in present day time. And um, some aren't. But um, the interesting thing in this um, collection is um, the Guards of Honor. I decided to present this particular work this year because they stemmed out of my printmaking experience. The breastplate of the guard is actually a printmaking plate, but it is installed with mirrors and things from everywhere in Nigeria. Many of these exhibitors can be described as upcoming artists. Art enthusiasts are quite thrilled with their production. Well, generally, I would say there's a lot of talent here, and 
uh, diversity, variety. Uh, women are expressing themselves through different media. They're using um, not just ordinary paint, um, got acrylic dots and uh, different surfaces and textures. And uh, I think they, they should be encouraged. The organizers of this unique event believe that the ingenuity of female artists cannot be underestimated. As a woman, you have so much responsibility. You, as a mother, as a wife, as a sister, as a daughter. And amidst all of this, you must also, if you're creative, you must also express your creativity. Now, the question is, when do you have the time to work? And even if you have the time to work, how do you have the time to exhibit? So, that's where we come as organizers to bring together women who are creative, to help promote that creativity. This exhibition celebrates the dynamism and industry of female artists. It is believed that with encouragement from everyone, they'll become artists of great repute in the near future.